It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Jets and the Cincinnati Bengals. All that and more. We are set to go. Evan McPherson to do the honors, and we are underway from Cincinnati. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. But the new look Jets ready to go on offense, and it is the veteran Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. After years of flirting with the idea, the four-time MVP finally found his way out of Green Bay this offseason, guiding himself to the Jets. We know he's already a Hall of Fame lock, but this, this is a chance to add one more crowning achievement to his resume. Now the second year man back from injury, it's Brees Hall. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Well, a fake on the jet sweep as they run with Cook up the middle. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D tackle position in order to make that play. Let's do this, man. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Hall again on second down. Nice little juke. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Heavy set out there on third and one. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. He has a man, it's complete to Wilson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 38-yard line. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. But Charles, a tough task ahead for this defense, trying to slow down Aaron Rodgers. What would you be trying to do? I would think about selective pressure, Brandon. And what I mean by that is he's going to eat you up if you blitz him too often because he'll read that and go to the man coverage patterns. But every now and then you bring that pressure at him, make him deliver the ball on time. It's when he keeps the ball, maneuvers out of the pocket, and throws deep, that's when you're in big trouble. Hey, man, let's play our game. Now that's on big Makai Becton, first round pick in 2020. Cook following the penalty. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Caught. It's Wilson. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates. They're mixing the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
that run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man. That's Lazard. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Cook will take this one in. Touchdown, New York. Well, just about an ideal start to this one offensively because on the road, you want to make sure you quiet the home crowd early. And how do they do it? Nice march to start things off, let the run game find its footing early. That drive certainly checked a lot of boxes, and they finished it off with a touchdown run. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it's capped off by the touchdown run coming from Dalvin Cook. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Now the Bengals now set for their first possession, and it's pro bowler Joe Burrow who leads this offense in his fourth season now out of LSU. Burrow may be young in his career, but he's helming the Bengals to one of the best stretches they've ever seen. 12 wins last year, which matched the team record, and they made a conference championship game in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time ever. And this intercepted on the first play of the game. Adrian Amos with a pick, and he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, that's certainly not the start that they envisioned, Charles. You give up the long touchdown drive, and there, an interception on their first play from scrimmage. Brandon, I wonder if the mindset was simply, well, that was a long touchdown drive. Their defense might be a little relaxed and feel like, hey, we're in good shape now having seven in hand. Maybe they just thought, let's take the shot at them right now. Instead, it went against them. Up the middle, it's Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Balled it to 26, second and seven. They run it again with Cook. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Defensively, Sam Hubbard, the former Buckeye, there to stop him. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. 
He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Jets have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road to be able to go into someone else's house. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Zerline good with a PAT, and it's now 14 to nothing. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? The tackle by Quincy Williams. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there. But guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again. Then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Now a three-time 1,000-yard rusher, Joe Mixon. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they've got it with a third down coming up. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about, and you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Now this offense and Garrett Wilson headed back out. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Rodgers will try again on second down. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. Rodgers going to throw. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. On play action, now Rodgers. 
That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Rodgers to throw once more. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 29-yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. They'll try the middle with Cook. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 24 now, here's second down and five. Here's Cook again. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Delvin Cook with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jets take a three-touchdown lead. Well, CD, that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Bengals offense getting set and ready to go again here. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Back to Mixon on second down. A beautiful fake. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run-blocking abilities, and we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ball game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now it's Burrow. Got a man, it's Chase, he completes it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Ah, so often when we're watching a football game, we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows and this one is no different. 
And sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit. And they get one right there. That shot of caffeine this offense was looking for. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Quentin Jefferson, what an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Here's Burrow. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. But this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. I know we saw the pass and the completion and obviously the resulting loss of yardage. To me, that play broke down with the blocking on it. Because if you're going to try and swing it that far outside, that blocking's got to hold up to give your guy a chance. And the defense, they weren't fooled at all. No, not at all. But were they aggressive on that one? So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points, obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And you see Dalvin Cook in the offense heading back out. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Here's Rodgers to throw. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. A 10th carry in the game for Cook. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. It's Logan Wilson there to bring him down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 46, here's second and five. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And his throw is incomplete. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. 
Rodgers now to throw. He finds Wilson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 32-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. But certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Rodgers. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Throwing is Rodgers. And that nearly trouble, but it's incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it, and it'll be second down. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. On second down, a run with Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. 
Well, so far in this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? This time they stay on the ground. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On now to punt, Brad Robbins. Hardman on the return. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Here's Rodgers. Pass to Lazard, bringing it in on the crossing round. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 33. Zerline's kick is up and through. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. So as it turns out, a two-play drive resulting in the field goal. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Sorry, Coach. We'll catch up with you after the game. We're going to skip through halftime here and headed back to the field for the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The box set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Well, the Bengal offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Oh, 
The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw taken in here by Chase. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and one. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. They find some open field here. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. 70 yards rushing here for Mixon. He's got a first down. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. Now Burrow on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Mixing up the middle. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Five yards, now it's third and five. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available on, and gained decent yardage. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. He misses yet again, and the struggles here, they look pretty uncharacteristic for him. You're certainly right about that. Mechanics are the key right now. Feet, arm, not in sync at all. He ends up throwing that one past his receiver that's open. McPherson's kick is good, and that drops a deficit from 28 to 25. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white waving flag and just, just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and three. Now Rodgers. Rodgers sliding to a stop with a first down. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. Cook up the gut. And he'll have a Jets first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. 
We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Rodgers now on first down. Taking in left side, it's Wilson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here's second and a yard. Rodgers going to throw. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Now a play fake. Rodgers going right back to Wilson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 22-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Coming right, this is Cook on the toss play. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And the tackle there by Jermaine Pratt. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line to hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. From the 20, here's second down and eight. Hall ought to give up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. Back now in Cincinnati. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Third down, Dalvin Cook. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. So they went a little cautious there on third and long. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Remember, they're playing with a lead right now. So getting a first down, yes, that would be great. But even more importantly, Take care of the football, no turnovers, no big plays for the other team, and keep the clock moving. So Rodgers will depart, and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Taken at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, 
the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Now Burrow to throw on second down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Now the Bengals on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight from the shotgun, Joe Burrow. And now another one thrown incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here, you've held the team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> a little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast-forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. To throw is Rodgers. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Handoff comes to Cook. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 95 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick, and a five-yard penalty. Well, this O-line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. Second down, they go right back to Cook, down right around the 25. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So Rodgers will depart, and on is Greg Zerline for the Jets' field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So he remains perfect three for three in the field goal department. And it's so important for any offense to have an ace like him up their sleeve, isn't it? Because now you know what his range is, and as soon as your offense gets there, you're pretty much counting on three points going up on the board. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Second and seven. Burrow looking to pass. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Burrow. Short throw to Smith. Ball at the 33, second and nine. Burrow will throw. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They're passing here. Joe Burrow throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. To the air again, Burrow. And a throw there going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Well, they've clearly made a conscious decision here to be more aggressive in the late stages of this game here in the second half. And I get it. In this situation, you know, if you want to be aggressive out near midfield, you feel good about your defense maybe, or just, hey, I thought I had a proper play call. But how about the guys that just stopped them? How good do they feel right now? All right, you want to go for it here? We shut you down. They're over on the bench right now feeling great. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. 
Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back, but eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Back to the ground, this time Cook. Down to the 25. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. Oh, a fake on the Jets sweep as they run with Cook up the middle. And he is going to have a Jets first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team He's going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Logan Wilson that time there to bring him down. Here's second and nine. A give. This is Cook. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football. And I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but yeah, I... But, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You this, get a like game ball, child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.